So we got an interesting question this week that I think a lot of people need to know this information because we all have to move through this. How do we go from childhood orgasms to adult orgasms? Now, if as children our masturbation was not interfered with by a, a parent or a caregiver. So you're masturbating by humping your blankets or your teddy bear you or squeezing go your on. legs together or rubbing on something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You will naturally go on to the next level, which will be exploring your genitals with your hands. And once again, if you're not interfered with and if you don't have a lot of guilt surrounding masturbation, mm -hmm. you're not always looking over to make sure you're not going to get caught, you will spend time developing all the sensations in your genitals with your hands. And this is a natural progression that happens for all of us if our masturbation is not interfered with. This has been my lifetime work. So usually it's interfered with in some way. So yes. either privacy, you don't have time, or whatever it is, whatever the reason is. Well, and then the, just the general, gen, general culture. So what do you do when you want to move on? Because if you are squeezing your legs together or you're rubbing on things or you're humping things and all of a sudden you have to open up your legs for partner sex if you're heterosexual, how do you take, how do you move forward and have good orgasms during partner sex? You're going to go to DodsonandRoss.com and you will see there's all of this information available. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to change your masturbation pattern. And this goes for boys and men too. Absolutely. Because they're doing a lot of pornography and heavy friction. Friction, fast. Jerking off, yep. and it's fast, and you have the visual, and all of a sudden you can't ejaculate inside a vagina. So you have pre-orgasmic women and, and fast ejaculating, pre -or, you know. Pre, you know, premature ejaculating. They women. don't want to call it that anymore, but that's really what it is. They can't sustain higher levels of excitement, so they shoot right off. So the woman will have to start practicing genital stimulation with her legs open. The with guy a lot of lubrication, we have to say Thank that. you, thank you, yes. You always say, don't touch a clitoris with a dry hand. Never, ever. never, never, never. Now, what is in, 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 in the household, what are you going to find? Uh, coconut oil is usually around. Sure. People butter. Use, I mean, seriously. Well, you could, you yes, could you use could. butter. You could. Uh, you can use olive oil. You'll smell a little bit like a salad, <laughs> but, you know, it's better than a dry hump. <laughs> so the other thing is for guys is that they have to bring themselves up to the point of wanting to come and then backing off. Now that will take a certain amount of control. Or and that's what you're learning. Yeah, exactly what you want to learn. And it's so, you know, here it is. We are connecting. Our brains and our genitals. Yeah. And I love what you said before. You said if you haven't touched your clitoris, it might be super sensitive. You might go, ah, or you might feel nothing. Exactly. But you have to keep on touching your clitoris and develop your clitoris and those sensations. And the same thing with, with the man and his penis. Now, here we have the next level of, of confusion and conversation about is the penis circumcised or is it natural? The natural circum uncircumcised penis is naturally lubricated. Yes, you don't need any lubrication. And actually, we I think you posted this, that the re one of the big reasons for circumcision is to prevent boys from masturbating. masturbating. Now, this culture is so sick when it comes to masturbation, and it is, and I'm going to say it again, the foundation of all of human sexual activity. It is how we learn to like our genitals, and it is how we learn to get better at sex. Exactly. So if you want to have a happy, healthy sex life, you have to masturbate and encourage your partner to masturbate, because a lot of people, once they're in relationships, they, they get their feelings hurt if the, your partner is yeah, masturbating. It's ridiculous. Absolutely not. Ridiculous. That just means they want to get better at sex. So It's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, I think, I mean, you know, we do have a masturbation, May is masturbation month, but we need to do a lot more work around accepting, acknowledging, and honoring this very, very basic form of sexual expression. Now I hope everybody goes and plays with themselves. Go on. Go on.